Hi, welcome. Uh, my name is Kamil and in this video I'm going to show you how you can connect your custom email server into your Superbase instance. Uh, I saw a uh, few videos about that, but uh, unfortunately uh, pretty much no one is going to show you how to connect uh, the DNS from your uh, domain into recent which is needed to, to do it. So for example, you can watch this video uh, created by recent company. So this is official video, but unfortunately uh, they are not gonna tell you that you need to verify, verify your domain. And if you are gonna try to send email with the domain from the domain, which is not verified, you're gonna get error 500. So yep, no very, not very good experience. So uh, right now I'm gonna show you step by step how to do it. So first thing first, you need to create an account on recent.com. And right now, as you can see, I have an account. So right now I'm gonna go to domains. Okay, and now I'm, when I'm on the domains, I'm gonna click add domain. And here you need to add your website. And unfortunately, it can't be this temporary website like something, something, Netlify, whatever. It needs to be this normal website, you know, just custom website. So in my case, it's going to be tananga.com. This is the... Oh my God, why? what's happened? Okay, tananga.com. Uh, so this is the website which I used a long time ago for my personal uh, website. Uh, Right now, I think that it's not active anymore. So don't even try to open it because I think that it's nothing gonna happen. Okay, and region, as you can see, uh, the North Virginia right now is pretty much the only one which you can choose for free. For everything else, you need to pay. So let's stay, let's, let's keep this North Virginia. Okay, add. And right now, this is the most important part in this uh, tutorial. So uh, once again, let's go to domains. Okay, as you can see, you have this domain, you have your domains here. And uh, the important part is status, which is not started. So it's not very good. So somehow you need to make the status verified. And how to do it? You need to add some DNS records into your website. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, it's not very easy and uh, I'm gonna have a lot of uh, work uh, with uh, video video editing because I don't want to show you a lot of information which I'm gonna put there but uh, but yeah let's go step by step okay so as you can see we have uh, DNS records here and we have four DNS records uh, three of them are mandatory required and the fourth one is optional. So you can add it to you, but you don't need to. And how to do it? You need to open your uh, website in, a, in a, how to say it, um, in a provider website. Like for example, in my case, I, I bought my website on godaddy.com. Uh, so I'm gonna choose my products. As you can see, here is my website. Here are my websites. So I'm gonna choose tananga.com. Okay, tananga.com. I'm gonna go to domain, and I'm gonna choose manage DNS because I I need to add some DNS records. So technically, I should be able to add my DNS records here, but. Uh, because of this personal websites, website, which I created a long time ago, I moved it to Netlify. So right now, uh, information about my DNS is on Netlify servers. So I need to go there and uh, change this DNS there. But if you never had anything in common with Netlify, for example, or any other, uh, I don't know how to say, the, the web hosting uh, provider, you probably can just click this add new record here and do exactly the same what I'm gonna do right now on netlify.com but you just need to do it here so I hope that you are smart enough to figure out how to do it 
let's just jump right now to Netlify and I'm going to add this DNS. And remember, just uh, if you don't have Netlify account, just click this add new record. It should be available and do exactly the same what I'm doing or pretty much something similar. And it should work. Okay, so uh, I'm on the Netlify website and I need to go to the mains and uh, I, I'm gonna choose my website, which is tananga.com. And here I have some information about my DNS. So let's click add new re record. And this uh, dialogue gonna shows up right now. And how to, and right now, this is the most important part. You need to copy whatever you had here and paste it here. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's take a look. Uh, you have type, you have type MX. Let's put type MX. Okay. Now you have uh, host name send. We can copy it and we can paste it here, send. And now we have priority, priority is 10. And as you can see here and here, we don't have any priority. That means that means that we need to leave this uh, fields empty. Uh, so let's go here to priority 10. Okay. Now the value, the value is here. So we need to copy it and go to Netlify or GoDaddy, whatever, whatever you are using and just paste it here. Okay, and first first DNS record is done. So right now, as you can see, I added these four DNS records to my Netlify. Uh, of course, uh, as I said before, uh, if you are not using Netlify, maybe you are using the GoDaddy without uh, Netlify. So you just need to click this add new record and something similar is going to be visible for you. So just do whatever I made here, but on GoDaddy or, or just, you know, I hope, I hope that, that, I hope that you are a smart guy and you know what you are doing. Okay. So now you need to go to your recent once again, and now click verify DNS records. And this can take, this can take uh, a little amount of time. So don't be afraid if something is not uh, working immediately. It's gonna take probably a couple of minutes before it's gonna uh, change the status from pending to, to verified. So as you can see in my case, this uh, these two DNS records are verified very quickly, but this third one is gonna uh, take much more time. So I'm going to right now uh, pause here and I'm going to go back to you if everything is working fine. And I'm back. And as you can see, the status right now is verified. So everything is working quite fine, I think. So we can finally go to settings and now go to integrations. And here we can click connect to Superbase. Uh, if you are not logged in to your Superbase account, it's probably going to ask you for your Superbase credentials. So we need to put it here, but uh, I already was logged in. So, so I just can go further. So, uh, here you need to select your organization and I'm fine with this organization. So let's go. Okay, so now select a project. So I need to select my uh, my project. Here I need to select the domain. So uh, without this verification and without this uh, uh, ability to add your domain here, we would not be able to add this domain uh, here in this integration. So, so the step in domains was necessary. Okay. So let's add my, my domain and now I can add some sender, I sender name. Uh, I don't know what can I say? Uh, 
super base tutorial, maybe something like that. Uh, in custom super base custom email tutorial. Okay, and now let's click uh, configure SMTP, and everything should be fine. It should be. Yes, it's it's fine. Okay, so now we can, for example, open this in new tab and uh, let's go here. And as you can see, the custom SMTP is enabled right now and everything is working fine. So uh, let's let's test it. I'm gonna open my app. Um, okay, now I'm gonna uh, create a new account. Let me uh, select something here. Okay, the email uh, is like that, and password password is here. Okay, and let's click register. But before, let's uh, let's go to network and let's press register right now. Okay, and as you can see. Uh, we have status 200, so technically everything should be okay. I was uh, right now; it's asking me about my one-time password because I I'm using this to uh, to factor authentication. So let's go to my email and take a look. And as you can see, I have an email from Supervise Custom Email Tutorial. And uh, as you can see here, we have uh, mailed by by my website. So, uh, I hope that this video was helpful for you. Uh, I know that it was quite long, uh, probably longer than other videos about that, but also I tried to show you everything step by step, so probably that's that's why it takes so long. Uh, I, hope that, uh, I hope that I saved you a little bit of uh, time and uh, yeah, so if I help, please leave a like under this video or if you had any problem, just leave a comment below and I'm gonna try to, to help you. So uh, thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.